Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. There's always lots to talk about on The Advocate. We don't like to keep you in suspense. Welcome to The Advocate. I'll be kicking things off by challenging. Is our criticism without united action not condemning us to waiting for a change that will never come? Chuka, not one to douse the flames, stokes things up further by stating that honor is only as valuable as the people to whom it's given. With the festive season approaching, Liboris is addressing a matter close to our hearts, or is it our stomachs? Actually, he's talking about rice. Ekene has titled her advocacy, Power to the People, and she isn't speaking metaphorically either. It seems like we can't get enough of rice on this edition. Bolahan is also talking about rice, although his menu is garnished differently. You'll have to wait and see. Tick tock, it's time to set things in motion after the break. Could this not be termed using God's name in vain? Nigeria, a nation waiting on God. That is my topic this week. Last week, the Supreme Court dismissed the case brought by the PDP's Atiku Abubakar, challenging the legitimacy of Buhari's re-election. Shortly after, Atiku announced that he had fought a good fight on our behalf, which was soon followed by a comment by the PDP chairman, Uche Secondus, only God can bail out Nigeria. When people risk everything to fight for us, we are an ungrateful lot, washing our hands clean of any negative consequences that may arise. Some of us even go as far as to discredit their character, insisting that they are fighting for their own selfish reasons. I distinctly remember when the PDP said they would fight till the end to get justice. There were many discouraging voices, all saying what a waste of time and money it was and that they should just accept the results and move on. When Shorere decided to take on the fight, those voices could be heard again. And once he got detained by the DSS, the voices went one further to condemn his selfless action as a foolish one due to the use of the word revolution. What happened to the Nigeria we had under good luck, Jonathan? The Nigeria that was ready to occupy and protest at the drop of a hat. It would appear that we are now a nation resigned to its fate, waiting on God to save us. Too occupied with our own personal struggles to care about our collective struggles, we fail to realize that we, if we don't unite as a people to fight for our rights, we will be waiting on God indefinitely. All over the world, people are standing up to their governments and getting results. Just look at France and the Yellow Jackets and the Hong Kong protesters to mention a couple. It is vital we understand that if we truly want change, then as we wait on God, we also have a role to play. We need to come together as a people and stand up for our rights while supporting those who have risked everything for us on our behalf. And that's my advocacy. <laughs> I, I, I see your advocacy as a hydra-headed one. Okay. Uh, one, yes, there's need for us to come together. But on, I, I slightly disagree also on the other end because um, I, as, um, I, for one, I didn't see things from the article's point of view. Yeah. I, 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 for me, I didn't think there was need. I was actually directing some of that advocacy to you because oh, remember, really? you were, <laughs> yes, he was one of the people that said our yes. PDP should not forget do it. it, forget it, accept the because results. Because there are some battles you fight. There are some you, you look at the battle from the beginning to the end and you say, you it's know, even if it. I fight to the end, 
is not worth it because the result would be the same. And, and, and so, the same thing, that's why even under Gulag Jonathan, we're never united. Mm -hmm. Some of us all came out to occupy. There were people who were benefiting at that time who felt there was no need, he was dead on arrival. You know, so, but for me, I, I, I quite agree with you, there's need for more synergy, uh, more unity of purpose. But uh, what we have now, quite unfortunately, is the fact that, you know, people, even those that are suffering the most, would rather create excuses for mm. their suffering. Yes, I like the fact so, that you use the word excuse, because a lot of times what I perceive is that people are overwhelmed. So they're overwhelmed, they feel like they can't do anything. So they resort to waiting for God, mm. excuse, mm. you know. But even if you, you look at it from a religious perspective, what is in your hand, you know? There's always something you can do. Like I met someone yesterday talking about sports. We're looking at national stadium. The state of the national stadium is so sad, oh, you know, to think God. that like, we learned to swim there in mm. the early days. Way back. What, what a place it was. And yet now all manner of things is being used for car maintenance, anything, you name it. Mm. It's abandoned. Money is being allocated to maintain the national stadium, but it's being siphoned. Mm -hmm. So the person working there is overwhelmed and he's like, you know, the usual complaints. And at the end, it's almost like you want to give up on Nigeria. But I said to him, that thing, that role you're playing, play it as diligently as you can. Don't abandon ship. What is in your hand? So we always feel overwhelmed. And so instead of the one you can do, you start blaming you start, you know, you start complaining and then you start coming up with excuses and critiquing people. Like, I didn't necessarily, I wouldn't have voted for Atiku, but I like the fact that he stood up to challenge, even if he couldn't win. Mm. I felt it was an expression of our frustration mm. that we're not happy. So don't, because if, if no one complains, if no one does anything, they'll take it that, you know, even now they're arrogantly saying, oh, we voted him in, mm. as though it's the will of the people. Yes, yes. So let us at least say it's not the complete will of the people. Mm. Let the, it's an expensive way of saying it, but let's still say it. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm coming no, from. Oh, so, and I, I definitely I, I, agree I, I, with I, I, you. We need to come together. That's the only way to largely to Obviously. Give it for God. You know, we, mm. we outsource. Because they make Maybe money. abdication yeah, is even money. the right word. We abdicate our responsibilities to God. To God. Mm. He doesn't take those things. <laughs> because he's, his hands are full and he has bigger <laughs> fishes to fry. So we need to move away from trying to put everything on God. And do the bit we can. I like the, the, the piece you said about, um, uh, you know, like doing whatever, whatever is within mm. our capacity to do. Mm. If you think about that copper that was making yes. chairs and chairs. tables, yes. mm. yeah, yeah. that is what his hands has found to do. Yeah. And he did it very well. Somebody would take a chair. Well, Sani, social Sani mm. saw his school without library. And tweeted about it instead. Oh, I saw the blast he received. Yeah, man. That you saw in school without yeah, library, yeah, you, went, you went to tweet. No, but there was a couple who saw in school without chairs and started making chairs and tables. Yeah, yeah. So there must be a way each of us can contribute mm. in our own little circles of uh, influence. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I believe that uh, liberals, you know, even if you look at the process from beginning to end and you yeah. think you're not going to get the result mm. you want, the truth is that the process itself is very important. Yes. It is. If we have 35 revolutions a year, it will register in people's minds that 35 times people got up to try to fight. I'm not talking about revolution. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, you no, better no, not talk no, about revolution. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. That's what I'm serious because that's the word. I mean, no, but I'm interested. You know, yeah. and so you get people start to see mm. that there are people that, mm. are, that want happy. to fight for them. Mm. There are people who are not happy, yeah. people who are angry. And, you know, you will find that after, you know, after a while it builds up and then that unity you're looking for, it will start you to come form. together. Mm. Yes. As we speak now, yeah. if you have a matter at the Supreme Court, mm. the earliest date you can get is 2023. Mm. Do you know why? We have a lot of frivolous cases. Mm. All over the whole place. Even my matters at the Court of Appeal, mm. the earliest date you get, you get 2021, <laughs> November wow. 2022, because of frivolous matters. Mm. There are an election petition in Nigeria, there are procedures. If you prove, if you allege election irregularities, you must prove pulling unit by pulling unit. You have six months to do that. And you look at the, the scientific rigging, our election laws have not been updated to take cognizance of those scientific rigging. So when you look at the process, it's dead on arrival. How do you prove pulling unit by pulling unit in 36 states of the federation? So how do we change that process? And, and so what you should, the target should be on the electoral laws at the National Assembly. Mm. Try as much as you can from your political party to ensure that you have more voices in these places. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you go to court, lawyers are going to charge. So you. Let fighting let me, the wrong let battles, let quote, then. That's what I'm saying. We're fighting that's the wrong battles. Yeah, but let me even quote somebody that I spoke to recently that said, look, that of course, these other candidates who stood forward, 
never stood a chance of winning. Mm, but mm. you have to make a start. Yes. You yeah, can't yeah, not no, make... No, even the fact that it's dead on arrival doesn't still mean you won't register For your the presence. fact that you have... Um, you had two dominant party and 90-something French parties. <laughs> Those 92 other French parties, if they had stood behind the major opposition party, so let's put our strength together. Yeah, again, it's exactly the point. Do yeah. some yeah. scratch. Yeah. The and and so, which is why, you know, later also I talk about comparative advantage. Mm. If you know this is where I have strength, mm -hmm. you concentrate on the areas you have strength. Instead of, yeah. instead of fighting all Okay, but Liberals, let me even ask you, France. the horse has bolted. Mm -hmm. We had an election, we saw the rigging, we're dissatisfied. What do we do? Let me tell you. We, we let it go and start scientific, regrouping. Scientific rigging. When, because you know that the, it's about numbers, so what do you do? I know this is your stronghold. I ensure that voting materials don't get there early. And so I disenfranchise your people. So when you get to court, you say, oh, my people, we are not allowed to vote. What's the guarantee that if they voted, they would have, they would have voted, voted for, for you? you. Correct. And that, so, and so what you now do, and then you say, well, there were minor irregularities, and say the court says it's what is substantial enough. Mm. But what, because what the law talk about is substantial The of proof. Yeah, and then, so what you mm. now do is, let's look at the law, and then just oppose it with the processes of the election, what are the areas we need to check? All of these non-arrival of materials, and so if materials do Let's not make it arrive, electronic and forget all exactly. this. Exactly. So mm. when you address all of these problems, mm. you would have solved fifty percent mm -hmm. of no, but, uh, but, 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 but you know, you know, but, the sad thing for me now is that. It doesn't seem as if we are approaching this with the right level of uh, seriousness. Yes. No, we are not. No, we are not because, because they don't want. Yeah. The way it is going. Our electoral law amended will arrive on the eve of the next election. Oh my. If we're yes, not careful. Yes, that's and it may not even get um, uh, amended. And there are either. serious issues that we need to deal with. On governed spaces, if you're going to do electronic voting, mm -hmm. whatever measure you need to do, we need to be able to put it in place well before so the So how does this which is united we stand? That, that yeah, is that's, that's help us the, the towards the united next 2023. We stand, the united we stand is first and foremost you need to identify the problem we want to stand for. Yes. Once we identify this is the problem and if we confront this problem headlong, we would have solved the problem, you know, 60% or 80%. That's and sad. that's why I wanted people to look at places like Hong Kong, because they are under communism. You know, that, that is the rule that's going over there. And they knew they couldn't do anything. They even have cameras, like in China, for instance. They have cameras watching them. As you're walking down the street, there's a camera on you. So that any little thing you do, they take points off you. Can you imagine that? So if you want to travel, they can say you won't travel because you did this, you did this, you did that. So if they know that their power is in their share number and they're trooping out every single day yeah. in order to make this happen, why are we, once we do it one day, that's it. Nigerians, are, we've, we've we protested, we're done. At, at, at when, Hong <laughs> you Kong, I'm not sure that Hong Kong is a very rich society. Problem. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, but compared to here, it's yeah. easier. How many days can people protest in Lagos before they will tell you you can't feed their family? Yeah. No, because we need to start it from our churches. Yeah. We are a very religious <laughs> no, that's country. Fine, fine. Let's go yeah. Yeah. Imagine the way we troop out to Holy Ghost Congress. Yeah. If we all troop out one day, just one day to say, Lagos is about expressway, no going yes. out, no coming in mm. until the roads are fixed. That would make a difference, for real. It really would. Okay, well, there we go. We never have enough time to discuss these things. When pretense is pulled away, we are left with owning up to our shortcomings. Chuka further strips away our cover-up after the break. <laughs>